We're now up to uh, video number 179, and uh, now we've gotten into, uh, or we're getting into uh, cargo, cargo itself, and uh, you know, to do this, uh, you have to uh, install Rust, uh, but uh, and hopefully you have by now because it's been a, a while, and hopefully I've convinced you that uh, installing Rust is a uh, is a good thing. Uh, you get a lot more functionality than what we have on the. Uh, on the playground, but uh, one uh, unfortunate thing is I'm uh, I'm recording with uh, OBS Studio, and uh, when I uh, and I have uh, Rust on uh, VS Code, and uh, whenever I do that, it uh, it gets really slow, and the animation gets uh, or the, the filming gets choppy, and so uh, it's uh, it's not going to cooperate. So uh, what I'm going to do instead is um, just uh, just go over the concepts, and then I also have this. Uh, this other setup here that will um, that is a little bit more of a console-like thing, and so we can take input and then uh, you can add uh, add files here, and then uh, we can probably do um, almost everything. Um, but first, uh, so let's just go over um, cargo itself, some of the some of the commands, and you can actually see um, you can actually see them here in the in the playground here. So there's uh, you've got cargo run, cargo build, uh, cargo test. Uh, so when you are um, when you have a, a Rust program, uh, you type. Um, let's see, you've got a few uh, a few things. So if you're starting a, a new project, you uh, you type uh, cargo new and you know, something like my project, and then uh, and then uh, cargo will set up your uh, your main dot uh, dot rs, and then uh, also your cargo dot uh, toml, which is where your uh, external crates go. Um, Things like rand and uh, and uh, and so on, and um, and then to uh, to run it, you uh, you type uh, cargo run cargo build is uh, this just uh, this builds the uh, executable it doesn't run it. Uh, this will uh, build it <coughs> and run it, and then there are also these uh, these flags you use. So you would uh, you use like a cargo run if you do this release release. This is called a uh, release build, and this is a uh, release build. Uh, is a uh, it's fast. Let's see, it takes longer to compile, uh, but it's way faster, but way faster. So uh, a, a lot of the a lot of the time you'll see um, you know posts online on uh, on Rust forums, and uh, somebody will say, "Hey, I, I wrote this program in." Uh, in Python, and then I rewrote it in Rust, and uh, you know how come it's only like two times faster? And a lot of the time, it's because uh, the person has forgotten to uh, to use this release flag. And when you do the release flag, it's it's uh, incredibly faster. And uh, but of course, you don't want to do a cargo run release all the time if you have a lot of code because you want to make uh, you know small changes to your code and then run and then and then see what happens. And um, and so that's that's called the uh, the debug build. So without it, it's called the debug build, and that's just uh, cargo run. And there's also uh, some interesting stuff uh, going on uh, right now to reduce uh, compilation times. There's a there's a possible uh, new way of uh, of doing debug builds called crane lift. And right now the um, uh, it, Rust always uh, it compiles to LLVM, which I think is a low-level machine language, uh, and uh, and that is what um, that's what C uses too, and it you know really optimizes the code, and so LLVM is uh, is great for that. Um, but uh, the uh, the idea behind CraneLift, and I think the guy that's doing it is Bjorn, uh, who's like a compiler wizard, and uh, some other people. I think, and uh, crane lift is basically like uh, more of a debug build, so it's uh, it's faster to compile and um, and will be and is less optimized, and I think it's something like a thirty percent improvement, um, something like that. So it's it's notice noticeably faster, and uh, eventually um, we might see uh, crane lift as the as the default for uh, for debug builds. So that is uh, that's what's going on in uh, in Rustland right now, um, and so um, let's see cargo build. Oh, and then of course there's uh, there's this thing called uh, cargo check, and this is uh, this is the fastest uh, the fastest way to uh, to check your code right now, and this will um, 
it'll, it'll compile it. Uh, it. It won't build the. Uh, it won't build the. Uh, the executable. It'll just. Um, the compiler will go through it and then, uh, you know, look for errors and. Um, and it's uh, it's basically the same as running except without the the actual running. And then uh, <clears throat> once you have your. Um, you know, when you start uh, cargo build, then you will see. Um, so if you brought in a uh, a random, you know, a crate like random, for example, uh, it'll it'll build the program. But when it starts, it uh, you know it starts with this uh, this compilation, and uh, this uh, it'll look like uh, something like this. And this is bringing in, uh, you know, rand itself. But rand itself also needs some crates, so it uh, you know starts bringing these in, these in first, and then it will. Uh, It'll compile, and uh, and then finally it'll start uh, start running the the code. And uh, the code here is uh, is this uh, you know just make a take a vec and then uh, put together this uh, this uh, thread RNG and then use the uh, the choose function to uh, to choose one of these letters. And by the way, this thirteen point one three seconds was uh, was back when I had a. Uh, a little Surface Go, um, you know, this tiny, tiny little computer, and uh, that was in um, about one year ago as well. So uh, it won't uh, take 13 seconds on uh, on a uh, on the normal, uh, you know, a, no a computer of regular uh, regular power. Um, and also, when you do a cargo run once, then it'll compile this. And then if you if you do it a second time, then uh, it's already compiled, so it's not going to uh, go through the compilation again. And then uh, once you're done, if you decide you don't want these uh, these crates anymore, then uh, you know cleaning it up is really easy. You just uh, type uh, cargo clean, and then it'll go through and it'll take out all of your uh, all of those dependencies. And uh, and then if you do a uh, cargo run after, then it's going to uh, rebuild uh, recompile. Uh, again from uh, from the start so that is uh, I think that's uh, yeah just a few uh, tips on using uh, on using cargo and you can um, you know a lot of it you can do uh, inside here on, on the playground and I think there was another tool let's see rust format hmm oh, yeah. expand macros no um, 